So if you have an electronic device, you almost certainly have a TI semiconductor chip inside of it. Nations are on the lookout for critical minerals like lithium. It seems like the lithium triangle deposits are not enough to meet the needs of the global economy. It is an important component that is driving a major industry forward. Yes, you've guessed it right, we're talking about the semiconductor chips that have been revolutionizing the market for a long time now. China and Taiwan have been the focal point of the chip industry and they've been serving the needs of the global nations. Currently the UK, the US, Europe and China rely heavily on Taiwan for semiconductors, but recently the geopolitical tension between China and Taiwan drives chip makers to turn to the US for manufacturing. Texas have emerged as the place to do business. This is because of the government's introduction of low taxes and new subsidies. This is the major reason that forced the US to make Texas a hub through timely government intervention. Texas is all set up to become a leader in America's semiconductor chip industry. It has started off a revolution by leading the US semiconductor chip industry. The world began to understand the importance when there was a global chip shortage during the pandemic. This has gained the attention of almost all the major economies around the world as it plays a major part in the making of electrical vehicles, electrical gadgets, etc. They are the fourth most traded commodity in the world behind crude oil, processed oil, and cars. Chips are an important component in the semiconductor industry. The microscopic computer chips control the creature comforts of modern society as well as lead national security. From the touchscreens on our phones to the navigation systems on war missiles, chips are typically made from silicon wafers. The wafers stretch about 12 inches across and can be cut into thousands of semiconductors. A semiconductor fab, commonly called a fab, is a manufacturing plant in which raw silicon wafers are turned into integrated circuits such as computer processors, microcontrollers, and memory chips. Silicon is almost always used, but various compound semiconductors are used for specialized applications. A process called lithography can cut the design into chips using a combination of chemicals and machines. Let's start by explaining the meaning of semiconductors. Semiconductors have special electrical properties that allow them to form the basis of computers and other electronic devices. Under certain conditions, it is usually a solid chemical element or compound that produces electricity. This means that it's a perfect medium for controlling the electricity supply and daily appliances. As a result, it is a popular component of electric chips made for computing components and a variety of electronic devices, excluding solid-state storage. Silicon, germanium, copper, gallium, and arsenic are all examples of semiconductors and each having different uses. Having understood all about semiconductors, let us also make a comprehensive analysis of the importance of the semiconductor ecosystem. The semiconductor ecosystem has a great deal of importance for our economy. The cloud is represented by companies such as Microsoft and Google. Consumer electronics are represented by firms such as Apple. And then, even electric cars are represented by companies like Tesla, which have a lot of computers. This means that cars are now not just vehicles, but computers. And because they have such a large number of sensors. So, if you are tasked with listing some of the applications of semiconductors, here we go. Semiconductors are the foundation of modern computing. Devices such as smartphones and laptops rely on them. They can be found in wind turbines and solar farms, hence playing a major role in maintaining sustainability. So what is the journey of Texas? Did it become a hub out of the blue? Definitely not. Every success has a story behind it. So let us unravel the mystery of Texas. To understand how Texas was chosen as the hub of the semiconductor industry, it is necessary to dig deep into the history of Texas. Texas has been in the chip industry for a very long time. In the 1990s, the US produced between 30% to 40% of the world's chips. The first integrated circuit in Dallas and Fort Worth was created by the inventor of a modern silicon chip. Austin, Texas was home to a group of executives in the semiconductor industry known as Semitech. Ironically, while the transistor and semiconductor chip were invented in the US, no state-of-the-art semiconductor foundries are currently on American soil. Hence, the government decided to come up with the CHIPS Act. It was introduced by the US in 2020 to provide subsidies to companies to build manufacturing facilities here and also do advanced research and development around semiconductor manufacturing. The legislation provides more than $52 billion in incentives, $39 billion for production, and $13.2 billion for improvements. The boom in fab development in the US comes as some major chip companies face a slowdown amid economic uncertainty. 
Texas has long been famous for plentiful land and policies that are favorable to new businesses, as the US looks to invest more in domestic production and at the same time pushes for more controls over semiconductors and related technologies. The decoupling of the tech sector will intensify. Let us now have the projectile of chip manufacturing in Texas. According to the Texas Comptroller for Public Accounts, the semiconductor sector of the manufacturing industry is one of the fastest growing areas of the Texas economy. The industry contributed 15.3 billion US dollars to Texas GDP in 2020. Texas semiconductors made up 15% of the US semiconductor GDP in that same year. According to the Comptroller's office, when it comes to new chip investments, Arizona leads with a $20 billion fab coming from Intel and a $40 billion site from Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co., the world's top advanced chip maker. However, Texas has the highest number of total fabs and is a close second for new investments. In 2020, the semiconductor industry made up more than a quarter of all Texas exports. In terms of jobs, more than 41,000 Texans work in the sector. So what are the challenges in the making of the chip industry? First of all, there is a need for raw materials, which include important materials like lithium for the making of a chip. Secondly, the uneven distribution of minerals, with most of the reserves located in China and Taiwan. It is difficult for smaller companies and nation states to emerge in the market. Third, it needs ample space and a well-connected supply chain. Texas has been blessed with space and design, making it an ideal location. Lastly, it requires knowledge and expertise, which most countries are lacking on how to manufacture cutting-edge technology using chips. Also, it is a known fact that the more complicated the chip, the more complicated and more costly the factory becomes. In a race to become a global superpower, countries are on the lookout for critical minerals that contribute to a large share of emerging markets. Today, 90% of the world's most advanced processor chips are produced in Taiwan. Given China's growing military might and Xi Jinping's aggressive nationalism, this is a risk to the global economy that has grown too large. This is the reason why minerals like silicon and lithium are always in the news with one or the other nations competing for a lion's share of the reserves. But finding raw materials and having a knowledge economy is critical to any emerging economy. Advanced semiconductors are critical to training AI systems, which are supposedly the future. The importance of semiconductors is such that now 40% of the cost of cars is determined by the semiconductor. So in short, it can be said that the countries in the world are being ruled by the geopolitics of semiconductors. The applicability of semiconductors from being used in fridges to ballistic missiles has wide connotations. Efforts to diversify the geography of advanced chip making are a smart move from this perspective. This explains why the US, Japan, and Europe are all trying to bolster their country's position in the semiconductor supply chain. Let us hope that the chip manufacturing results in greater good of mankind and not in some geopolitical tussle. This is it for today. For more introspective videos on topics like this, push the bell icon and stay informed. So until next time, it is a goodbye.